Today is September 27, 2008. We're at our Kujik Lake grazer exclusion experiment, and we've had some problems with folks breaking into the cages and opening them up and having them not be complete exclusions. But it's not a complete loss. We do have some areas and a few plots where uh, the entire community wasn't completely grazed. So we can glean a little bit of stuff, a little bit of learning from this experiment. And one thing that you can clearly see even from way back over there is that here where the cattle did not get to, or the, the other herbivores did not get to, it's relatively high. These guys, these wetland plants are about uh, waist high on me. If we go outside of the plot though, you can see just in our cage control areas where we didn't have any uh, exclusion at all, things are more like, at best, they're perhaps um, uh, calf high or knee high at the highest, but most stuff is more like only a few centimeters tall. So indeed, this does work. We believe that if we do exclude grazers from here, we can see very rapid vegetation responses and qualitatively what we've seen in terms of bird responses, in terms of frog densities, uh, most animals, as you would expect, most wetland animals like wetland communities, like wetland plants, like wetland environments. And so our hope is to have much more of this next year and less of this.